Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to build a simple perpetual generator at home. If you love building and exploring perpetual generators, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First I'll use a motor from a large fan. Use a sharp tool to detach the motor. As you can see, the copper coil and the rotor shaft are still in great condition. Now remove the rotor shaft from the copper coil. With this copper coil, if we rotate a magnet around it, it will definitely generate an electric current. That's why we need to turn the rotor shaft into a magnet. I'm using a 12 volt battery and a wire wrapped around the rotor shaft. I connected one end of the wire to the negative terminal of the battery and brushed the other end against the positive terminal. Note, we should only lightly touch the wire to the positive terminal of the battery and avoid keeping it connected for too long. Now, the rotor shaft has become a magnet. It can attract a piece of iron. Now we'll insert the rotor shaft back into the copper coil. Next, we'll reassemble the motor completely, just like it was before. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of my latest electronics tutorials and experiments. To make sure the motor can actually generate electricity, I'll use an ammeter to test it. Awesome! My motor has generated a small electric current of about 12 volts. I'm using a wooden board as the base for the generator I'm building. I'm using industrial adhesive to firmly attach the motor onto the wooden base. For the unused wires, I'll wrap them together with electrical tape. Note, make sure the wires don't spark or short circuit with each other. Next, I'm using a small motor that runs on a 12 volt power supply. I'll use industrial adhesive to attach a pulley onto the shaft of the small motor. I'll attach another pulley onto the shaft of the generator motor. Next, I'm using a pre-cut piece of PVC plastic to make a stand for the small motor. I'm still using industrial adhesive to attach them as firmly as possible. Next, we'll attach the three legs of the small motor to the wooden base using industrial adhesive. I'm using electrical wires to connect to the two terminals of the small motor. The other two wire ends will be connected to the two leads of the generator motor. I'll try spinning the generator motor to see if it makes the small motor rotate along with it. Awesome! Both motors are spinning. I'll use a soldering iron to firmly solder the connections between the two motors. I'm adding a connector plug to the two wire ends.
Use adhesive to secure the connector jack onto the wooden base. I'm using a piece of rubber cut from a motorcycle inner tube to make a drive belt. Use a needle and thread to sew the two ends of the rubber strip together to form a drive belt. After finishing the drive belt, I'll install it onto the two pulleys of the motors. I tried spinning the generator motor, it started rotating and made the small motor spin as well. They kept rotating continuously together. After completing my perpetual generator, I'll test it by running some electrical devices with it. First, I'll activate the machine to start running. I'm using a boost converter circuit to step up the voltage to 220 volts. I'll use a fan to test the power output from the generator, and as you can see, the fan is running very powerfully. Next, I'll use an incandescent light bulb for testing. It's amazing that although the generator is small, it still produces enough power to run both a fan and a light bulb. Together we've built this amazing perpetual generator. Now, we won't have to worry whenever there's a power outage. Let's take a moment to admire the creative achievement that we've built together.
Thanks for watching today's video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe to explore more creative electrical and DIY projects with me.